Hello everyone, welcome back to Beyond Programming. In this video, we'll be making a login functionality, the backend for it. A login with basically the email and password that will make the backend for it. So firstly, it's the, the demo project in which Fire is, Firebase is already integrated, which we did in the previous video. If you haven't watched that, you can go to the playlist from the channel or I'll give the link in the i button up here. So first of all, we'll remove the demo home project made by the Flutter already for us. We'll remove that and we'll make a new class here. A new widget, stateful widget for login. We'll name it login with capital L. STF shortcut. We'll name it login. So I'm just skipping all the UI part because that's not our main objective here. We'll just do the backend. So it's a blank UI where which I have created the login but uh, the login field, password field, and the button for the login. Just to make a little things clear, I, I designed it a little. Now we'll add some variables here. First, we'll make two late variables, both of type strings, and we'll first one we'll name as email, and second will be named as password. Then we'll make two final variables, which are basically the text controllers. One will be the email controller and second will be the password controller because we need at least one for each of the text fields. And make sure to wrap your widget in a, in a form uh, widget because without the, without the form key, we won't be able to complete our, our objective here. Now we'll make a global form key. And we we'll make sure to dispose our uh, text controllers that should not be running in the app. Email controller dot dispose and pass controller dot dispose. These two are important. So for the form widget, we'll give our key, the name we made it, uh, the form key variable that we'll assign it. And now for the text form field for the email one, we'll give the controller as email controller and we'll also set a key type, keyboard type, text input type dot email address because it's the field for email. And now similarly for uh, the password one, We'll change that to password, visible password, keyboard type. And now for the button, the on pressed button, we'll assign the values. Email will be equal to email controller dot text, the value we are getting for it. Email controller dot text. And for password, it will be pass controller dot text. Basically assigning the values to, to the variables. And now we'll make a function with the name of login, which is to be executed when we click the button. So we'll make a future void function, which is of type async and we'll put a try box first to avoid any errors in the app. And we initialize our auth with the firebase dot instance. That is important. And now in the try box, we will write await auth dot now the function sign in with email and password and then we will pass the uh, parameters for email we will we'll give email and for password we will give pass the variables here and we will give a snack var and that will be that we are signed in successfully and if we have a firebase exception then we'll catch the error and we'll print that error in the uh, snack bar again. So we'll give that as a variable and e dot code, basically the error code we'll print out. And that's it. I'll hot, re I'll hot reload. And now we'll try it out. Basically that's all for the functionality. It just has to work perfectly. Okay. 
okay some problem here because both of them are coming to be same i think some problem with the controllers i'll see that yes for the password we have set the same controller we had to change it to pass controller now it's solved and for password we'll give password as of now okay we got one error let's see it says that no firebase app okay i didn't enable the sign in with uh, email and password we'll go to console new project which we made in the build we'll go to authentication get started and then we'll enable sign in password we'll en enable that and save it and now we'll create a demo user with the email of hello at gmail dot com, and we'll set a password as password. Simple, no complications as of now. Okay, now the user is created. Now we'll try signing in this user in our app. Let's hot reload again, and now we'll log in. Okay, one more error. Let's see what what it says. No Firebase app. Okay, the initialization has not been done. So we'll go to our main dot dart file, where we'll initialize it in the main function. Here we have to write two lines. We'll give it a await await function because it's a Firebase, and we'll return a future await Firebase dot instance initializing the app. Basically, we'll add the async keyword. We'll import the library. And one more thing that we have to ensure that yes, it is initialized. So for that, we'll write widget flutter building dot ensure initialized that yes, our app is initialized. Semicolon there. And now let's see again how to restart because we made changes in the main dot dot. We'll how to restart. Hello at gmail dot com password login and now you can see that it is giving us no errors and the sign in snack bar is also coming which means that the sign in was successful. We'll go to the console and we'll reload it to see the sign in and yes it shows us that it it was latest sign in. Yeah, so it works now. So that's it for this video. I hope there were no doubts, no problems. If there is, then you can put me down in the comments or all and also text me on my Instagram handle and the link is on the ch channel page. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest Flutter updates and we'll see you guys in the next one. Sometimes I struggle in this place, been in circles several days, never knowing the